So AFOLs, that's a word, I, that's, a, that's a phrase I've never heard before. Adult <laughs> fans of Lego. Hey, learn something new on the news every day. You do, uh, well, and it's, and it's like, they are very adamant that it's Lego and not yeah. Legos. So, oh, yes. singular, not plural. It is singular, yes. Again, we're so. learning. We're learning every day. We try, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, weather-wise, I mean, we're just yeah. seeing it's nice out, so that's good. Yeah, boy, I tell you, Jenny, it was cold this morning. Temperatures down into the 20s across the metro area, but we've rebounded yeah, somewhat relatively nicely. What I'm noticing, though, more than anything, is the high clouds that have come in from the north uh, down through British Columbia and across western Washington and Oregon today. Filtered sunshine, we'll call it 42 degrees outside right now as we look at the developing Vancouver waterfront down there in Vancouver from our Riverview Community Bank camera at the I-5 bridge there. Uh, Stoller Family Estates, you see that filtered sunshine there as well. Temperatures right now 44, headed for the 50s down there in wine country as well. Back here, a beautiful shot of Mount Hood as we look off to the east-southeast. 46 degrees now, humidity 47%. Uh, light north wind at three miles per hour as you see those clouds this evening on the planner as we move uh, later in the afternoon. Yeah, you can see it on the satellite and radar, northerly flow, just a few scattered high clouds as we widen out satellite and radar. You see there is a big ridge of high pressure off the coast, and I'm keeping my eye on that system out about a thousand miles out in the Pacific. It's going to take some time to get here. It probably won't get here until about Saturday evening. So I think between now and Saturday afternoon, about four o'clock, got some nice weather on the way so if you have projects outside on Saturday get them done on the first half of the day because it looks like the second half of the day is going to be wet now this morning's lows there's 26 at Vancouver 23 Hood River 20 in Pendleton there's that 30 at PDX 20s in the valley Salem 25 even 20s out there along the coast Astoria at 29 Tillamook 28 and Newport right at freezing current temperatures right now you got 40s out there along the coast some 50s on the southern Oregon coast mostly in the 40s mid 40s up and down the i-5 corridor in the Lamette valley and then central and the east side of the state still cool there pendleton 38 Legrand 34 we had single digits over there in bend burns baker city rome all those typical cool spots this morning zone forecast for today along the coast we see that filtered sunshine we'll call it mostly sunny temperatures in the mid 50s down there a real nice day Valley, same thing. You're seeing it right now. We'll warm up to the low 50s. Gorge, about 50. Great day to get outside if you've got some time off work. Maybe go get a hike in. And then central and eastern Oregon, temperatures after that. Cool start up to about uh, upper 40s. Uh, snow, if you're thinking about taking uh, some time off to go skiing, boy, the snowfall levels are going to be up above 4,000 feet. That's the Highway 26 pass at Government Camp. We'll go up to around 6,000 feet on Saturday, and then we'll bring it down. Uh, to below pass levels as we get into Sunday and Monday. Ski report, uh, 117 inches with 3 inches new at Timberline. Meadows, 86 inches. Ski bowl, 65 inches. And uh, about the same there at uh, Mount Bachelor. Uh, rain chances here the next six days. There's our two dry days, Thursday and Friday. The next system comes in Saturday evening. Scattered showers on Sunday. And then that system on Monday looks quite wet. We'll keep an eye on that real close, see if an uh, atmospheric river sets up with that one. A lot of high clouds continue to push through here tonight, so future cast pretty high and dry. No chances of rain again until we get into Saturday and beyond. Forecast rainfall totals. I'm going to run this all the way through Saturday. Finally, by Saturday evening, we get some measurable rainfall in here. Going into your Sunday, it'll be scattered showers. Okay, 7-day forecast. January will go mostly sunny. Tomorrow, 52. Excuse me, today, 52. But then on Friday, We'll be probably right around 60 in the metro. It wouldn't surprise me if some places exceed 60. Then Saturday, we'll call it late day rain, 57. Don't forget, turn those clocks ahead Saturday night. And then on Sunday, scattered showers. Monday, that next system comes in. And the scattered showers continue into next week. Jenny, looks more like typical spring weather in the Pacific Northwest. I love it. Well, and tomorrow <laughs> might be a good day to go to the waterfront. A lot of the cherry yeah. blossom trees are blooming. Yeah. Um, Tis the season. Tis the season. Yep. All right. We'll be right back with uh, some more news and one final look at your forecast.